<laughs> okay. So we are in a newly remodeled apartment. And there is a spirit here who seems to be scared or confused. <coughs> He's moving stuff in the apartment. He hangs out in the bathroom. And we're going to try and find out what it is that he wants and what kind of help we can give him. So, we got, we got a spirit box here, Mr. Spirit, whatever your name is. Did you say Joey? What's your name? Okay, hold on. Now don't be afraid. We're not here to scare you, make you mad, anything like that. Okay? We're only here to talk to you. Will you talk to us? Can you tell us loud and clear what your name is? What was that? Can you say it one more time? That bothers you. Oh, you lived here at one time. And I feel like he's upset because it's being changed around. So the remodeling that's happening around the entire house, is that what's bothering you? You're right. He's not. He's not bad. He's just disturbed. He's upset. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Now, when you lived here, did you live in the entire house, or was it an apartment then? The whole house. The whole house was his, and it's now all sectioned off. Heart attack. Protected or heart attack? What was it? Do you, do you understand that they're fixing it up to make it better because as things age, they get old and they're not usable like they once were? I, I hear yes, but I, re, I, I like to remember it the way it was. Okay. I do, he said. I do. I hear you. Are you okay with the people that are living here? He, he, he does like you. He likes you. Do you do you need any help? Are you okay here? Do you want to stay here? He doesn't want to go anywhere. You don't want to go anywhere. He's he's. Well, why don't we just have a chat? We're not here to. You want to talk to us about anything? Any concerns? How do you want to talk? Do you want to use the box or do you want to talk to Janet? How about if I just turn it down a little? Can you do me a favor? You see, he already did it. It was lighting up in the kitchen. Was it? Can you light this box up, this, this uh, little box up for me if you're here with us? It's on green right now. Can you make it yellow? You can do it while I'm holding it, it's okay. Bring it over here. Come a little closer to me. Okay, can you light it up for us? Can you stand next to us and light it up? Please? At this point, we're just here for a friendly visit. He was standing behind you when you were asking that. Oh, here, how about... <coughs> if, 
can't put it there. I'm gonna put it back by the radio again. That's why I was thrown in here when we were. He does. He's right. That's your thing. When I was laying there, I seen it go this way. Yeah. So I figured that closet, that corner area. So he saw you last night going from room to room. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. So, what room is your favorite room? Did he say the basement? I feel like he came out. I heard in it. Yeah. When he's visiting this part of the house, he hangs out with him. He likes his energy. Are you lighting that up right now? Yes or no? Can you make it go all the way to Red Forest? Can you can you stop it from blinking? Whoa. Uh, can you can you take it all the way down to green and not let it not light it at all for a moment? Please? There you go. Thank you. You got it. So listen, can you tell us how you passed away and how old you were? <coughs> he had stomach stuff. I already felt it. Oh, yeah? Did you have cancer or something? I don't think so. I think it was more of uh, like dysentery or something when they were... So much so this is a long time ago. How long are we talking? We've been around for a long time. Are we talking 1800s? Yeah. This is an old house. It's a big old house. I feel disease. Yeah. Would you give my my son my stomach pain? Uh, yeah, he could. Absolutely, he could. Your son could feel him. Yeah, because yeah. my son was like my tummy, my tummy. Oh, so he's feeling his energy. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's next to him because I felt it too when he was standing next to me. He showed me his stomach. Wow. Did you live here with your whole family? Did you say no? No. You lived here alone in this big old house? I'm gonna speed this up a little. How many other spirits here live here with you? Women in this house too. I feel two women. Six? I feel two women that are wearing old, high waisted, black, dark colored dresses, and a turn on them in the high neckline. Okay. Did you have a wife? That was a mother and a, and a daughter. He was here, and they were servants here. Uh -huh. Yes. yes. I feel three servants. There were two females and a male. Was there is there a big barn or was there a barn in the back? Do you know? Okay. Because I feel like there was horses and stuff here too at some point. I can see a big barn. Here to help. Did you did you have a, a horse farm? Well, they had horses to get around. I don't know. Well, that's right. We're talking 1800s, right? Yeah. They had horses to get around, and that's what this man took care of. He was the stable, the hand, that took care of that kind of stuff. Okay. There were some animals. Look, try not to get too upset, because what year is it for you? Because it's 2020 now, so things have to be updated, okay? <coughs> but all your woodwork is still beautiful. You still have all your, all your doors, all your frames are still original. It's just painted. 
Now, how many apartments are there? Scare the little kids. Because the little kids can see you, you know that, right? Yeah, so you're not allowed to make him feel ill. I know you didn't do it intentionally, but you, you can't be near him so that he can feel it. 
Yeah, I know he likes to play with them. Hmm. Yeah. Is there a way that you can? Is there a way that you can play with him without making him feel ill, so he doesn't feel yes. your energy? Yeah, can you do that? that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because we already know. There's no scaring. Don't scare him. Don't anything. I mean, is it all right with you if he plays with him? That's the big deal. Only if he's happy and okay. he doesn't hurt him. All right, you got the rules. All of you have the rules. We know it's your house, but there's still people that have to live here now in, in this, this century. Okay? And we just wanted to come and say hi to you, meet you, and, and make sure that everything was okay for the family that's here now. He's like, I don't want you guys to go. It's neat things for leaving right now. I was just going to say, I just got like really... Well, what do you want to talk... Is there something you want to talk about? Is there anything you need from us? It's kind of weird because I feel like he's, he's amazed by all the technology that they have. Oh yeah, you see that big TV in there? Do you know what a TV is? Yes. Yeah? Left. Yeah, that's nice. Huh? I was just looking at 85 inches online. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we do have to go. We can't stay here. We don't live here. Don't be hiding his stuff and moving shit around out of either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't, can't do it. He needs his stuff. That paperwork is important. Very. So he knows you're here. Everybody knows you're here. Everybody's acknowledged you. And you talk to him. To when you come in, say hi to him. Say hello. How are you today? You know, I do that at Especially my shop. Especially if you see him, say yo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't, yeah, don't, don't. let him know. He just wants you to know that, you know. Right. Well, that's pretty much what I told him. <coughs> it doesn't feel evil or anything. It just feels like unsettled, unsure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like I said, I'm laying there, there's my pillow, and I watched it go this way towards there. So. Can you, can you do something for us? Can you knock on the walls in here for us so we hear you? In this room. Are you strong enough to make a knock noise for us? I don't think so. No? No. When you said that, I heard no. Okay. Doesn't it take more energy for somebody to see you than it does to make a noise or to move papers? What are the rules of being dead? I don't understand. Well, I would guess that's why he would be in the bathroom because he'd be getting energy. He'd be getting the energy. That fan, if that fan turns on by itself and there's water, yeah. that's, that's energy in there that's running. Mm -hmm. All right, well, hey, it was nice meeting you. Because what they do is they build it up. Right. And then they can, and then they can do what they want to do. They... Unless they have an unlimited supply. Mm hmm. That's her house. Mm -hmm. All right. All the water's underneath. Mm -hmm. Wow. What was his name? Did we get his name? I think I forgot already. Why do I want to say Sam? I, I keep hearing Samuel, so I don't know. Lots of Samuels then. She was Chris. I never heard his name though. Is it Sam? I'm hearing Yeah, okay, Sam. Samuel. So. That's your name now. Do you mind? Call Hi, Sam. How are you doing today? Good morning, Sam. Whatever. You know, good night, Sam. I do that when I'm at home. I say, good night, Captain. I'm downstairs in the basement. I feel him. I'm like, I'm just doing this, Captain. Good night. <laughs> That's what I do. Last night I went down to get the wood. I said, good night, Captain. <laughs> He wasn't on the bottle doing this, though. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't tripped me yet, so. <laughs> what was your daughter's name? Is she, she's still here. What's your daughter's name in case his son sees her? <laughs> What's your daughter's name? <laughs> All right, I'll go back and listen. If I hear it, I'll tell Liza if she can tell him. Chris is your wife, is that correct? 
Recorder off. Thank you for talking to us. Goodbye, Samuel. Goodbye. All right. Goodbye, Samuel.